Today's tutorial is going to be a nice short little quick one, more of a quick tip, and it's on a program called Timeout. Let's say you have a script, a process, an application of some sort that you want to start up, but you don't know when it's going to end, but you want it to stop after a certain amount of time. Either it's something that's going to continuously try to do something until you kill it, um, or if it, you, it's going to keep trying to do something that it may not be able to accomplish, or if you just want to make sure it only runs for a certain amount of time, Timeout is the program for you. Um, I'm going to use ping as an example, and before people start commenting, I know that ping has an option to limit the number of pings it does. But just because in this example, if I just type ping google.com, it will continuously ping Google until it can't ping it anymore or I kill it. It's going to be a good little example. So here you can see ping just keeps going and going. I'll press control C to kill it. But let's say ping didn't have the option to limit the number of pings, and I just want to kill it after a certain amount of time. I can say time out, and I'll say 5s for 5 seconds. And then whatever our command is, in this case, pinggoogle.com. I hit enter, and now instead of going forever, after 5 seconds, it is killed. Another example would be I'll use the find command to search my entire hard drive, which I have a lot of files on my hard drive and could take a long time. But I'm going to set it so that after one second, it stops. So it starts listing all the files. After one second, it kills it. So that is um, timeout in a nutshell. You can check out the man file. There's not much in there, though, because that's pretty much the entire program. Um, I thank you for watching. I ask uh, that you visit my website, filmsbychris.com. I just redesigned it at the time of posting this video. I don't know when you're watching it. If you like this video, I have plenty of tutorials, like almost 1,500 videos up there, most of which are tutorials on programming and open source. Um, if you enjoy my tutorials, I also ask that you think about donating to my site. If you go to filmsbychris.com, once again, that's Chris with the K. There should be a link in the description. There is a donate button, and I appreciate you uh, helping support in any way you can. Thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a great day.